Hi guys, welcome back to Channel Step Campus. So this is a lecture six of Night Watch Notes plus MCQ. So uh, in the previous lecture we have seen about this some um, MCQ part. Okay. So in this one we are going to start with this disable in multi script. See, suppose we have multiple script. Multiple script already we have seen right in the previous lecture. So multiple script means like one module dot expert and inside this one we have one function test script, second test script, and this is the third test script. All the script are separated by comma. Okay. But you want to disable this one so how to disable so after this colon okay you have to give this one quotes and this plus sign you will see more clear here this quotes plus sign will uh, we have to write before the function of the test case which we want to disable okay so like this way we can disable if we write like after this colon we will write like quotes plus so it will disable this uh, function also this script also okay now how to run group test so if you want to run the group test suppose if you want to uh, suppose you have uh, save this file in first test.js okay like this way and you have this three test cases and you want to run all suppose this disable is not there okay and you want to run all so how to run so you have to give hyphen hyphen group and then first script okay how to skip a group test so to skip a group test we have to write like night watch hyphen hyphen skip group and then first script okay and night was cucumber so what is night was cucumber so cucumber is a framework so whatever we have written in the night was is normally a syntax okay like uh, we have written a script but to make it a framework to give you a, a, a specific design we required a cucumber so this is a very fam a famous popular we can say framework that is a bdd framework okay behavioral data driven bdd not bbd i think i have placed around it's a bdd behavioral data driven framework okay so it's a bdd framework uh, where we can uh, use the framework okay and accommodate our test case based on the script okay so how it will help now so we are writing in a plain english text so before what is happening like if you, you using different different frameworks so we we have we required a technical knowledge to understand that one but now business people w don't have the technical knowledge okay so how they will understand what is the functionality okay how what we have written so to to show them also a functionality we are uh, encounter this cucumber framework okay in which we are writing whatever the script uh, we have written we will write that script in a simpler plain english language so that the business people which which don't have a technical knowledge also understand about this one and then they will uh, check the code okay so this is a important uh, we can say now now we will go uh, to see some final mcq question okay the first question all the drivers are stored in the desk folder by default see if you want to store all the drivers see if they will talk about some chrome driver and all so answer will be bin okay answer will be bin if they are saying about the chrome driver chrome driver or geeko driver firefox driver whatever so driver related to the browser so it will be bin okay but they are specifically like saying like all the drivers sorry sorry not specifically saying they are saying all the drivers so all the drivers are stored in the lib folder okay so option will be lib okay F once again i will tell you if it is related to the chrome driver or any driver okay right like related to the browser so it will it, the answer will be bin okay but if they are not specifying the driver and they are saying like all the driver then it should be placed in the lib folder okay now which of the following syntax is correct for the ancestor path so ancestor part will be like last we have to see slash slash ancestor and then value so this is correct ancestor attribute no ancestor attribute no ancestor attribute value sorry ancestor and value so this these two are correct so in these two also we have to see like which one is correct so see slash star slash 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 then after this slash slash we have to give the tag name so tag name is not there right so it won't be a correct one so slash star will be a answer okay now star equals to so i already told you star equals to it means substring okay which of the following is a client side scripting client side means front end so front end will be html javascript and css so one two four will be the answer okay one two four will be the answer the complete path is also known as complete path is also known as absolute text path okay we already seen this in a uh, definition okay in a lecture now dash command verify the specific value so for a specific value we are giving dot attribute text okay 
how to switch from export to css selector so we have to we have to write dot use css okay all the questions are already uh, given some question we will see newly so don't worry for chrome we need to define the chrome driver so chrome driver where we have to define so we have to define in cli underscore args this also we have seen okay now dash command verifies the value of the attribute okay so if you want to see the value of the attribute okay so we have to use attribute contents okay attribute contents command in css the selector class is called selector class okay so dot class we have to be, you have to write so in css the class will be written as dot id will be written as has okay which of the syntax is correct for defining json so i already told you for json uh, it should be uh, inside the flower bracket that is this bracket so square bracket square bracket bracket option will be uh, incorrect so just remove these two now between these two we have to think so everything either the value or the key all will be in the double quotes so we can see uh, in this one double quote double quotes double quote double quotes we can see but here we we can see the single quote so this is not a correct one okay so option a will be the answer now dash command pause the execution so if you want to pause the execution till the text or visible is not uh, sorry till the text or value is not visible so how to do so for this one we will write like dot for element visible okay this command we will write now node is written in so node is written in javascript already we have discussed these things okay this in defining function is stand for so this in defining it is defining a object okay this define defines a object which of the following is a server side server side means backend so backend uh, it will be a node js and ruby on rest so 2 and sorry uh, 3 and 5 will be the answer so 3 and 5 will be the answer node js and ruby on rails now how to define an inline variable so if you want to define inline variable in a night watch so either you can choose this where x equals to text or const x equals to text so either with where or const we are defining okay so both will be the answer correct okay now where is the run command defined in package dot json so run command is defined in scripts okay the test folder details will be defined in test folder details so see test folder details will be defining in src folder so src folder we have to give uh, dollar equals to so dollar equals to in css is used for end with okay so answer will be end with how to switch from css to xpath so dot use xpath okay so that's all guys so all the 20 questions are completed so th this is the last lecture of this night watch mcq plus note so i hope this clear to you just uh, go through this video from the starting video okay and we'll see you in the next lecture for different topics thank you bye bye